That baby. Grand finals. Underway. Welcome one, welcome all to the Double Trouble Grand Final Tournament. With us, we have some fantastic players. Eshwar, Rakeem One, FF and Easy, or Finesse, and Verhoover. Man, this is going to be great. Both of these players. Super interesting. Uh, one of uh, both of these teams, sorry. One is Greeks, FF and Easy's Greeks, and Verhoover is actually playing Babylon. I would have expected the opposite there, but uh, on this side of the map, on this canyon, if you will, Rakim One is going on Babylon, which is not unexpected, and he's trying to desperately find a hunt. Oh no, the desperation play. He found one in the end, but uh, oh, he found one back here. Got it, got it, got it. Um, there are times when you can take a real gamble. You can go for broke and try to try to get a hunt. But most of the time, you're going to be relegated to these berries. Uh, and Eshwar over here as Greeks. So Eshwar and Rakimwan playing their their favorite sieves. Unfortunately, that Eshwar never gotten any any hunts. But, you know, FF Nisi also never got any hunts. So all is fair in love and war. Um, let's check here. Verhoover did get on a hunt. Yeah, so the Babylonian players got on a hunt, and they got a good hunt at that. Very nice. 500 food on that one. Did he get hunting dogs? He did. So Verhoover's going to be able to to, uh, to go quite crazy on the eco for a little bit. He's already up to 300 food. Holy this guy's floating in it. He's about to drop down a ziggurat at any time now. Yeah. Let's see him drop down that ziggurat. And then we'll hop to the other player's point of view. Oh, wow. He's not dropping it down yet. Interesting. Okay. Might be a little bit of a mistake? Question mark? Oh, no. There's the ziggurat. Alrighty, Rakeem One also going for a second town center. Everybody's going greedy on this map. Nobody's going for any um, any early barracks, and that's probably due to the way that this Bandit Canyon layout is. Right, your whole front section of your map is protected, and there's only this one uh, little bit of a uh, a ramp into your base. And so, if you can just wall off this section, wall off this section. Um, your whole back area is really well defended for market lines for the late game and so as long as you set up for that you're, you're pretty much pretty much golden um, came one also going to the second age with the ziggurat eshwar going to the second age ff and easy the first one to get to the second age and he's nearly got enough stone and enough wood to get to the second age very smart of him to use the storehouse near his berry bushes to actually gather really closely from these trees uh, that's a heads up play but he's dropping some villagers because he's focusing on putting down a town center probably on this hunt slash gold mine yes very nice second town center first one up second one is going to be Eshwar as well protecting this gold mine and these berry bushes very nice Rakim one also has enough where is he going to put it? He's going to put it defensively in his base. I don't mind this one at all. Um, both players don't need to be super, super aggressive. Uh, interesting. For Hoover, I think actually has probably the worst second town center position. But who am I to judge? He's for Hoover. He's protecting this hunt, which is good. But... Uh, oh, there's not a lot of gold back here. That's probably why... He has not been blessed by the gold gods at all. Um, there's one gold over here, one gold over here, um, and two farther out. But definitely not as much gold on his side. A little bit unfortunate for Hoover. But that means he's probably going to have to get up a market line earlier than he anticipates. Um, no big deal for Hoover. 
A little bit of idle villagers here. Let's see, when is the first production facility gonna go down? I'm hoping it's from Eshwar here. He has just enough stone uh, wood to put something down. And he does. First is a barracks. Protect against those lancers. Don't hate it. Use some of that extra food eco that you, that's coming in. Handsaw coming in for finesse. Same thing with Eshwar. An academy. Early academy. <laughs> we saw him. We saw him do this when he was playing. Or what, what, we saw EKA and Wade LeBron do this when they were playing together on two v two, both as Greeks. But I have no idea what the plan is. Maybe go to age three really quickly, like ultimate greed. That could be the play, because neither like for Hoover or FF and Easy are going like they're just now dropping down their production facilities. So there's a really good window where Verhoover can go to age three uh, on the back of just getting a couple spearmen. Rakeem one almost has enough to go to age three. I'm wondering if he's uh, waiting for that. How many guys he's got on gold? Yeah, nearly enough to go on to age three as well. Wow, they're both gonna greet up and look at that. He's even getting stone. Maybe he's just dropping down a bunch of gardens. Hmm. A bit early in my prediction, but uh, still not bad. For Hoover's first production facility is going to be a double stables. And of course, pump and a lancer. So that's why Ashwar, you know, feels feels the need to make spearmen here or one spearmen. He's actually gone to age three. Both of them, Ashwar and Rakimbon, going to age three. Wow. FF Nizi and Verhoover don't really have a anything to say about this. Verhoover just spent his 200 food on the pharmacology update upgrade. Sorry, which which heals heals you. Oh no. Spent it on the berry bushes and conservation upgrade. Interesting. Alright, H3 in queue here. Pharmacology in queue for Rakeem 1. Um, I'm assuming the reason why Ashwar wanted to do this is so we can drop down some stables, get some, so, some Padromos out, and have like an actual counter to Lancers instead of just Spearmen. Wow, he's even getting philosophy. But he hasn't... Yeah, he's canceling philosophy. That didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, he was already in age 3, so... And there's no upgrades to to focus on. Wow, he's going for a third town center. He's going to drop it down probably back of his base somewhere. But no stables coming down at all. I'm really worried. Wow, this is... I say wow a lot, but this is not expected at all. You have two spearmen. Two spearmen, you're going on a stables. And for Hoover here is... He's got a ton of Lancers that if he was raiding on... Oh, same thing with Rakeem 1. They're both going super greedy here. Oh. No, please. Okay, no, no, we're good. We're good. We're Gucci. Rakeem 1 dropping down. Oh, getting some mounted archers. Trying to get some mounted archers out. He's got five of his gardens versus Verhoover, who has just started making a couple gardens. But he's getting his armory. Here, FF and Easy in the meantime, still sitting on those two production facilities. Uh, let's get a villager count. 43 for FF and Easy, 51 for Verhoover, 53 for Rakeem 1, and 45 for Eshwar. Wow. That is the power of Babylonian gardens right there. Okay, this is what I expected to happen. For Hoover finally pushing in, trying to stop Rakeem 1's uh, town center from going up. I think Rakeem 1 has enough, but that was an excellent uh, Sari flank, probably on the Mounder Archers. Yeah, because there's not enough Mounder Archers here to, to end this. And so Eshwar is probably going to be needed very soon, but he doesn't have much. He almost might... Yeah, he might lose this third town center. That's what I expected. A bit risky from the blue team. 
For Hoover with a nice timing push. He's still not in age three though. He can get to age three, but he's not. He's going for armory upgrades instead. And I love the fact that FF and Easy is going it like brought in some series. I love that. Oh, Rakim Wan can't lose this force. It's not worth the third town center. Just buy time for Eshwar to max up. Nothing wrong with nothing wrong with buying time. He's gonna lose it. Let's see what Eshwar is doing in the meantime on the back of this. He's got a couple of forces here, but nothing much. It's taking a while for this to go down. There's only 11 Lancers here. Oh, and he's even coming out to repair it. See here, FF and Easy still doing a good job spending his resources. 64 villagers is 62, 58, and 51. So Verhoover is actually struggling on the back of this. Um, wow, and Rakeem One manages to keep his town center alive. Well done. Well done. And his population is still strong. FF and Easy is actually housed right now. It's not looking very good for him. He's getting out a bunch of houses. Just got down his third TC. Good. I'm wondering who's going to be the first one to drop down a market line. It's not for Hoover, but it is FF and Easy. Excellent. First player to drop down that market line. Kimon going nearly all mounted archers against this all Lancer combination. Not a bad play. Just needs Ashwar to help him out. I wouldn't have expected that to be the case, but maybe Ashwar is believes in his teammate he's talking to him right now right they're in constant communication Ooh, for hoover trying to trying to thread the needle into rakeem one's base he's skipping the third town center all together and just going for the villagers wow let's see villager count beforehand 75 he's going for the large gardens that's going to be expensive each one of these gardens cost uh 90 food and uh 90 wood and gold I just run it through trying to kill more gardens okay where's uh where's Rakeem one's army it's back here it's chasing but it's not chasing enough here come the Padromos finally Eshwar coming to help his opponent uh, his teammate sorry against his opponent Fiverr Hoover's just running around finally the mounted archers have caught up to him gonna do some good damage can Rakeem one catch him with a couple straggler units? I don't think so. But it was a good bait. Here comes uh, FF and Easy with good pressure too to help support Verhoover. Verhoover though is really struggling. I don't know if for for resources or what have you, but his score is really quite low. Um, might be deceptively so, but yeah, really quite low. All right, so here's the actual play. The issue with this map. Is that you can really only usually you you fight uh, together in 2v2 but this map really splits you and your teammate up um, so this might be an actually bad fight for for Eshwar and Rakim want to take their full armies aren't in the mix Eshwar is missing like half of his army even though he has the most population in this game this is a good of a fight as the red team can hope to take and it's still going I think not too great yeah, there's still nine Peltos in the back, and they're just picking off the Mounted Archers quite quickly. Uh, the front line is almost gone for both of these players, for both of these teams. It's going to come to a standstill. Maybe whoever can reinforce the most. Um, and it looks like the blue team, when Rakeem won, is going to fall back first. Oh, but he's got a ton of Lancers, and he's still he's pumping out a ton of caravans oh my goodness just got a really nice caravan line going um and he's keeping the tug of war strong ashwar has moved into the base with a couple of padromos that might be enough to annoy his opponent rakeem one keeping the door steady for hoover switching to a bunch of mounted archers i like it rakeem one is he struggling for he's struggling for food his food weaker wasn't that strong. Uh, Ashwar, very, I was going to say very nice wall. He's just starting to build it though. Um, doesn't have any of the upgrades for it either. 
So small lull in the action while both of these players probably try to clean up Eshwar's raid here. Eshwar's getting a ton of information on his, his opponent's base layout. He's going to kill a bunch of villagers as well. 77 villagers, 79, 85, and 93. Wow, Rakim won with the most villagers. Very nice. Just needs to increase that population of army. Although this army is very strong right here. And for Hoover, yeah, he's not pulling back with these mountain archers. That was a mistake. I like this guard tower. Forward guard tower while he's making these walls. Make sure that he can fight where he wants to fight. See here. Wow, that's a scary Greek army. It's H3. Very strong. Hey, what is he going to do? He's going to move out here. Yeah, he's going to try to take out this gold, but... Uh, FF and Easy is on the gold right now. He's getting plaster mining. See, armory upgrades for Ashwar is actually in queue. He's got H2, a bunch of H2. What about FF and Easy? Actually, he doesn't have much of an army. Actually, his army's on this side. He's caught out. His walls are, are done. They might, might uh, give him some time right now, but oh. Interesting. But Hoover's on FF and Easy's side of the map. FF and Easy's trying to come and surround Eshwar's army. If Rakim 1 doesn't come to uh, help, this could be a really nice uh, flank. Where Hoover just needs to bait. Just needs to bait. Really strong walls. This is the power of the walls on this map. Alright. FF and Easy's coming. Hopefully these straggler units don't give away his army that's coming around. Hoover. Oh, yeah, he is. The uh, units did give away Here comes the surround. Can this be enough? Rakim 1 and the other side is actually pushing in. Very nice coordination. But it looks like Eshwar was able to kill nearly all of FF and Easy's army while holding off for Hoover's. Wow, wow, wow. That was big. And in the meantime, Rakim 1, hopefully being the final nail in the coffin. Pushing through the non-existent walls of Verhoover into the market line, into the the stable production. Wow, look at that Q. FF and Easy going to H4 though. First one to go to H4. I like it. He's he's trying to remax on on Peltos though. I'm not sure how great that will be. I, I say that though, and there's a bunch of um, a bunch of mounter, mounter archers in the mix. So Rakimon just now getting a bunch of armory upgrades. FF and Easy. He has no uh, only Bronze Age, um, but that should be good enough. Eshwar, though, has all Silver Age, and he's going to Age 4. So it's Rakim Moran who's struggling on the Armory Upgrade side of things. Um, oh, small lag. Uh, and Bruhoover has a decent amount of Armory. And he's chasing Rakim 1 over here. This might actually be quite bad. Yeah, Bruhoover smartly positioning his Army right in the middle. Look at this. Yeah, and that's going to be Rakim 1's army. Losing a bunch of units for free. And he's finally walling off. This is great. Uh, but Rakim 1 spots this. Going to H4 as well. Eshwar going to H4. But Hoover's the only one not in H4. But he's doing everything to keep his, his units in this game. And Eshwar has broken the wall. He's pushing in. There's 20 Peltas here, but there's more than enough Hoplites. But for Hoover coming in to save the day. Wow. Heads up play by Verhoover in H3, but he's still saving the game for his team. Hopefully he can chase back all of these uh, Toxodi. He's not going to. He's not going to. And that's going to mean that Eshwar has a leg up as he tries to remass on H4 units. Verhoover is getting all the armor upgrades he needs to, but he can't get to H4 yet. Let's see here. 77 villagers, 79, 86, and 100. Hmm, that means at the end of the day, if Hoover and, Rick and FF and Easy can mass up before his opponent, before their opponents, um, and take a good fight, they'll have the larger army size. Wow, FF and Easy's pushing up, but he doesn't have much of a meat shield. I don't know why he's deciding to push out here. He's going to see the siege workshops, and maybe with Hoover's help, they can take it out. Uh, but nothing was being built from, from Eshwar here. I like this. Rakim 1 and, and Eshwar are grouping up over here. 
Uh, Ashworth's got a little bit of a defense here with a tower or two. Ashworth's going to move out just as Verhoover runs away, but he's got a fast mobile army. Oh, yeah. FF and Easy's going to fall back. He's getting Peltos Champion. Great upgrade. Don't see it often. Don't see it needed often. Plus 25% health. Plus 10% movement speed. It's actually probably the best unit against like the Babylonian stable composition. Because if you go a bunch of mounted archers, then it's not really the best play. Um, because then... It, sorry, if you go serious to try to counter uh, the range of your opponent, that's not going to work. Rakeem won though. Kicking in. Uh, mounted archer champion. Total war. A uh, bunch of other economic upgrades. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get caught out. I think all of those upgrades just clicked in. So Verhoover needs to uh, pay attention not to lose his army. But he's not paying attention. Oh, he is. Great. Great reaction time. He's going to lose a couple units for that, but uh, not too much, hopefully. Ooh, he's going to stand here and take this fight while going to age 4 Okay. Uh, he's missing a lot of key upgrades, though, and I don't think to go exactly his way but I think he does have the larger army size and so that uh, combined with uh, better upgrades yeah his all through age 3 upgrades uh, might have been the difference Rakeem one's missing critically that age 3 pierce damage upgrade um, in the meantime Eshwar is going to be pushing in onto the market line of his opponent now where is FF Neasy? FF is going to try to do a nice flank uh, Gastro's in the front to kill the Hoplites that should be good enough. For Hoover is going to actually concede this fight for the time being. So much going on in this game. Uh, oh, but the Hippocons. There's no anti... There's no anti-cav in this army. Yeah, he needs to fight behind the walls here. With all those Gastros. Very expensive units. Oh, and uh, maybe with a Palantonin shot, he can kill a bunch of the squishy range units. Uh, this is how this map tends to go. You just mass up a bunch of walls, 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 get up a really good market line. Nearly 300. That's the perfect market line. 299? Is that what I saw? I think I saw that. 299 market line. That is exactly what he needs. Ooh. Hoover needs to be careful not to get caught out here. This is not a good fight. He's not maxed out and Rakeem one is and he's got better armory upgrades now or, or even armory upgrades. Only now is Verhoover uh, getting Total War and Mountain Archer Champion. This is going to go badly for him. He does have a good bank though, so that's not, uh, that's not what he should be worried about. Rakeem one down, so only 99 villagers. Oh. The humanity, 99 villagers. Ooh, this is uh, not very good. Yeah, Rakeem one's army has swallowed Verhoover's army. But Verhoover actually, do you see that? Remassing on... Ooh, stop, Verhoover, stop. He's trying to run, but he's going to get a little bit of damage. Hey, Magma Heady, good to see you. Uh, what is this? Yes, War Chariots. Good against ranged and villagers. These things are OP. OP. Very scary army for FF Neasy. He's getting his H4 pierce damage upgrade. Getting Hippodican champion too. Wow. FF Neasy's got a strong front line. He's got a bunch more Gastros than, uh, than Eshwar has. Because he hasn't really lost his backline units. All right, let's see whose front line is going to win. I think these eight Hippodicons are probably stronger. But I, I say that... It's the back line. Wow, well done. FF and Easy holding his own against Ashwar. But Ashwar is remaxing on all crazy age 4 units. So maybe that's going to be enough. He's even got two temples. Wow. Uh, FF and Easy needs to hold on. Not lose his, uh, his composure as he decides to push out here. And so each player is, is in charge of basically their own side of the map. That's how it works. Full range composition here for Verhoover with some, trying to get some Spearmen in the mix. Interesting. Um, yeah, and now, now that there's only range in the back here, it should be good enough. FF Neasy really holding his own here against, uh, against uh, Eshwar. 
But the front line, I think, being composed of more than just Hippocons is quite the improvement for Eshwar. Maybe the Peltos can be the difference maker? And the Palantonin. I think the Palantone is also raining down death with its shots. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, though, Eshwar can reinforce faster. He's got a better army composition. Yeah, and uh, FF Nisi is going to be forced to fall back. Let's see what Verhoover can do in the meantime. It's really each one of these players is holding needs to hold their own. Only four War Chariots here. Actually, Rakeem won switching her War Chariots of his own. Oh, and never mind. Verhoover is bringing in the Heat with Lancers as well. It's a very rock, paper, scissors sort of matchup, right? Like, Lancers are just great overall. And so you need Mounted Archers to counter them. And then in order to counter the Mounted Archers, you need to go for War Chariots. In order to counter the War Chariots, you go with March War Chariots or other Lancers. Uh, and so the circle just continues over and over again. Eshwar uh, actually taking a really good fight here against FF and Easy. An excellent fight. The With two Ballistas in the back and a bunch of Gastros. Oh, oh. FF and Easy trying to go for the, the uh, Ballistas with the Hippodicons, but that was a little bit of a waste here. I'm afraid... I'm afraid the tug of war for FF and Easy might not be going the way he wants. Let's see. Uh, Eshwar's got nearly all... or got a couple Age 4 armory upgrades. Can't lose this expensive siege! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to have this siege. Um, he's got a good fortress, good, good protection here. Uh, man, how... How or how how in this game are either one of these players going to crack each other? For Hoover is down to 155 population though. Um, he's only got 79 villagers to the 95, 89, and um, 81. He needs a lot more population though. Oh, the walls have broken. Rakim one has broken down the walls. Hoover's going to be try to remass or remake these walls, but uh... oh, he's broken them two places. Wow, Rakimon's really doing some good damage. He's even walling up, forward walling up. This is not looking good for the red team. Oh, look at that! Wow, Hoover's so smart. He saw that this. Like, one of these units were being targeted, and so he's running back and forth with them. Excellent. And yeah, the... The Palantonans are too strong. Maybe I see a wonder in this game. Maybe that's what we see. We see a wonder in this game to close it out. And whoever can hold the line on their wonder first wins. I would kind of love to see that. If, if Greshwar and Rakeem 1 make the wonder first, I think truly the person who makes the wonder first is going to win the game. See here, page 4 armory upgrades, not completely finished. Um, nearly all of his age 4, except nobody's got damage. War Chariot Champion in Q. That's 50% uh, crush armor and bonus damage against Siege. Hoover pushing out nearly now 200 of 200 population. I don't think either one of these players can really crack the nut on their opponent unless they team up. But, oh, I'm saying that. Man, Ash, uh, FF Nisi is getting a really big fight in. Oh, I, oh my god, no, never mind. I take that back. He's missing the shots on this Palantonin just not enough how did what the heck how did ff and easy get that oh no this palantone on 58 hp is going to be the difference maker wow uh in the meantime though verhoover is trying to push the issue onto this forward base of rakeem one who's put down really good fortresses uh he's trying to get up a siege workshop here that might be good enough uh but i think he's losing the tug of war here he's throwing in a bunch of barracks units in the mix Interesting choice. Uh, hmm. 
Looks like FF Nizi has lost this tug of war yet again and he needs to remass. He's not queuing up anything. He had enough to make a um, a wonder at one point in time. Maybe that was his hope. But he needs to put it down soon. Like, I don't know what the, what the plan is, but if, if they let Rakeem 1 and Ashwar keep this up, Ashwar should be down, putting down a, a, uh, a wonder at any time now. But, you know, in the heat of battle, you're not really thinking about a wonder. You're, you got a one-track mind. How do I, you know, win this fight, this next fight? I only need to win this next fight. There goes the fortress. Eshwar coming in with a siege might be good enough. Siege and Hoplites doesn't even need Gastros in the mix. Gastros are, uh... Oh, no, he needs to target the Palantonin. Man, Hop uh, sorry, Hippodokins are so strong against against Pierce. And same thing, the the Hoplites just soak up all of the crush damage from the Ballista. I think he needs some. Yeah, he needs a lot more anti. He needs a lot more everything. Hoplites, I think, are just so strong in this army. Wow. And FF and Easy is sorry, and uh, Rakeem One is actually now pushing the agenda onto Verhoover. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, those are old. Uh, yeah, I say Hippodicons. <laughs> uh, I think Rakeem One's might be might be winning this here. Yeah, he's even gotten into the back line. Oh, FF and Easy is over here because he doesn't have any more wood on his side. Uh, Rakeem One's trying to go for the market line. There's a lot of caravans over here. He's going to try to kill them all. Eshwar is struggling. Sorry, Verhoover is struggling for a lot of resources. Um, and so losing. Finally. Finally the wonder. Rakeem One pushing into his opponent's base. He's going to lose these, all of these forces. But uh, Eshwar, I think, is going to be the difference maker here. Sitting in the production. He'll be starting to take out some houses. Um, the Hippocons and the Hoplites are going to be taken out and such a great sponge of damage for all of the Siege. So I think this might be Ashwar and Rakeem 1 taking game 1. A 31 minute back and forth game. With two like crazy late game sieves. It was cool how both the Greek players spawned on one side and then both the Babylonian players spawned on the other side. So it was like a, a truly mirror match almost. Uh, Eerie, Eerie dropped out. Um, he was playing with Happy Smurf, which, you know, right, you know, I love Happy Smurf, but he's not necessarily the best player. Um, so he wasn't able to, uh, to beat Sam and me. Wow, look at this. Verhoover is actually showing his metal here, bringing in like a, a lot of army. I think this might be enough to almost uh, close the gap here. verhoover has got a ton of army. Wow. Okay, maybe just pushes in, kills the wonder. And he's going to try to do that or even just try to get this fortress up. But this is so smart. I tell, I tell players all the time, um... I say to players all the time, if you really want to secure a foothold in a tug of war, a map, then make sure you, uh, you've you got it, then just put down some forts, put down some walls, like, it's so great. Keem won though, like, wow, holding his own, man, I'm so impressed, holding his own against Verhoover, while his uh, his teammate Eshwar takes, takes, uh, takes out all of FF and Easy, but in saying that too, like, FF and Easy is uh, insane. How did he hold on to against Eshwar for so long? And he's even holding on, killing out these these Padromos, um, or sorry, killing these Palantonins with the Padromos. And yeah, there's the GG from FF and Easy and Verhoover, just as the wonder was about halfway done. GG. Well played. 
One nothing for Eshwar and his <laughs> and his new teammate, Rakeem One. That's jokes. Uh. Can we get a game three? favorite sound in the world the clicking sound up thank you sir thank you sir <laughs> sure, sure sure i'm down <laughs> i'm down grungy all righty hold on i need a cough Game two of this best of three grand finals. For Hoover and FF and Easy. FF and Easy has switched his sieve to Romans. The newest sieve. I'm thinking for their late game potential. Ah, yes, Pharos. This, is, in fact, is the new Age of Empires 4. How did you not know? Um, yep, come sign up. Uh, I think it's... I think it's like exclamation mark download. Uh, Artist here, if you're on, uh, come come join me for a co-cast, man. I'm in the... Come join me for a co-cast. Or if you want to join, like, uh, let me know and I'll give you a call. Keem one on this side, sticking with his Babylonians. Ashwar, same thing, sticking with his Greeks. And he's to be going for stone. Versus an opponent, FF and Easy is going to be going for a Castellum, early Castellum. What is for Hoover doing? Early stone as well. Hmm. All right, Spearman coming out, but, but maybe just a couple. Maybe just a couple of Spearman. He doesn't want to maybe commit too much because he needs to get to age two quick. He needs to get um, a second town center. He looks like he's already beginning to do that. He's crossing the map with a Spearman. Maybe that's going to be enough to knock uh, Ashwa off his hunt, mess up his build order a little bit. I think uh, Ashwar and uh, Rakim one are a really good team. Ooh, the scout though of FF and Easy needs to make sure not to die. This map is so big, you need your scout. Alright. Couple of spearmen crossing the map. FF and Easy is actually going for hunting dogs. Interesting choice. Needs to pay attention here not to lose this spearman. It's gonna bring a couple spearmen. He's even got more spearmen here, but oh no, he's going. They're going through the town center fire and getting caught. That's a big mistake. Yeah, that's a lot of HP you lost for nothing, sir. All right, but he's got a couple of uh, units here. He's going to be poking and prodding at these villagers. Uh, just needs to make sure, yeah, not to lose them. Because look at that. As soon as one or two shots and these things are dead, I think even the villagers could start to take them out. Uh, Ashwar is going to H2. He's already in H2. He's already dropping down the second town center back of his base. Very smart. Uh, far enough away that it... Oh, the TC. How is he allowed? Okay, he's taking down this... Uh, this storehouse, finally. He's going to maybe try to take out this scout. FF Nisi on the back of this going to H2. Hoover is getting up his own second town center in a really good spot. Nice gold. Um... Even got a nice safe cold back here, but so does Rakeem One. He's getting his own second town center on a really in a really nice spot, protecting this hunt, protecting this uh, gold mine, getting a nice wood line. 
All right, where did... Wait, did all of FF and Easy's units die? How'd that happen? Hmm. All right, moving over to FF and Easy's base, getting down the second town center, not too, too far down. But remember that 17 village to 22, 22 and 16. Ooh, FF and Easy dropping, dropping a couple of villagers, I think. Maybe he was housed at some point. I uh, needs to definitely drop down a house, like ASAP, though. Yeah, he needs to drop down a house. He's got more than enough wood for it. He's deciding to go for Loom instead. Hmm. Ashwar, his first production facility is going to be a barracks. Followed up by... Hmm, let me see my fourth... Foresight. It's a best of uh, three. Best of three. Yeah, my foresight. Damn it, he's... I knew I was going to say an archery range, but... All right, in the meantime, Rakeem one getting out some stables, and then I'm assuming a bunch of gardens after that. Uh, in the meantime, get a villager count, 27, 25, 18, and 29. Man, that vill that, that Spearman Rush really pushes you, puts you behind in the game. Ruver now just dropping down some gardens. He's got a stables up. Any other things he got up? Bunch of houses. Nothing too, too crazy. Ooh, nice malarium here. Okay, okay, I see you. Another malarium in his base, so maybe to connect the two. In the meantime... He's just floating a lot of wood. Maybe with those engineers, he can start to build something. What? What? I am slightly confused. Why would he put this Praetorium back here? Why? So many questions. No answers yet. Uh, second production facility is a barracks for Hoover, so maybe some spearmen to fight against the Lancers of Rakeem 1. Rakeem 1's making even more gardens, so he's up to 3 already versus Hoover's 1. Nice, those want to hide it, but why? It's not a secret. Is it a secret? Why is it a secret? Oh, that's cool. What the heck kind of a... Delion art. I thought that was almost like Persian headdress, you know? All right, Rakeem 1 is being pushed back by the Lancers of Hoover. Hoover is in a really good spot right now. Look at him go. Uh, him and Eshwar are both equal in population. FF and Easy, the greed! The greed, son! Going to age three, and he's the the furthest behind in eco. He's moving. Oh no, this, this is the worst. Oh my God, Ashford did not see that. That is horrible for him. Run, run! No, what are you doing? The snare, the snare. Why? He had a chance. Oh my God, kill me. Oh, oh man. It's like when he. Get a drug dealer into rehab, and you think they're gonna, you think they're gonna turn their life around, and then they just go right back. Oh man! All right, so they saw uh, FF and Easy going into age three, and that's why they're pushing in. The Decorions need to be really strong and onto the the uh, into the mix here. Okay, here come the spearmen. This is gonna be great. Really nice uh, play here. By FF and easy to come and support. Should be good enough though. For Hoover dropping some villagers. He's got a ton of resources in the bank. Um, oh no, he's letting... I think there's more than enough from from Eshwar here to take out both of these armies. That was a big deal. The spearmen here, still 15 of them. And all for Hoover and FF and easy have are, are horsemen. Maybe FF and easy should switch to some... Uh, Centurions instead. 
Does Verhoover, can you drop down some archer ranges as well? That could help him defend in the meantime. Bunch of stuff back here. We got some Cretan Bowmen coming in for Finesse. And Ashwar and Rakimwan have taken a pause for the time being. Though I am deathly afraid of what they can are capable of within this army. Hoover though, dropping some more villagers. Like he's just he's not producing any villagers right now. 51, 39 for FF and Easy, 56 and 56. He's focused so much on, on microing and making sure that he doesn't die here. I don't blame him. He, his army is over here doing some raiding, but his main base is being attacked on. And FF Nizi has got a couple of units here, but it's, I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, as soon as the Lancers of the Rakeem 1 come in to take out the ranged, it's all over. How is Verhoover and team going to get out of this one? Oh no, this is not how it was supposed to go. They were supposed to take the early initiative with that Spearman Rush. Verhoover was supposed to unite. <laughs> you were supposed to destroy the Sith, not become it. Hoover's got a couple more units here, but I think the Spearmen of Eshwar are so strong in the early game. And he's not making any more villagers to help with the villagers that he lost. I'm not sure why. Maybe he... Uh... Oh, man. And that's a GG from Hoover. And a GG from FF and Easy. That is how it ends. A really strong timing push by Eshwar and Rakim won. Really nice try. GG. Well played, well played. Yeah, I didn't expect that to go that way. Keen one saying as she's micro is OP. I uh I agree. I agree. That was really nice. He handled his spearman really smartly. Uh, current villager population. Yeah, Fefnizi was uh, struggling in the middle there because of that. Oh no, this is game. Sorry, this is... Uh, that was one nothing for uh, for Rakeem 1 and Eshwar already. And so that is the GG. Congratulations to Rakeem 1 and Eshwar. Well done, Ashwar. Well, well done, Rakeem One. You have proven yourselves as the double trouble champions. The 2v2 kings. The best buds of the 2v2 arena. Well done. You don't see quick uh, 2v2 games, but man, Ashwar on top of it. Yes, sadly it is over. This was this is game two. Oh, hey Sam, I didn't realize I was I was uh, giving you compliments and stuff uh, earlier. But uh, yeah, well, well played to these players. I knew that that Eshwar, you know, he well, he was looking like the favorite to win the tournament, but uh, I really thought Verhoover and FF and Easy could uh, could show their might. Unfortunate that uh, that wasn't the case.